All right, so Dubfest. Now, this has been a ROM which has some customization on Android 11 and it has been one of the most stable ROMs, good, you know, performance-oriented ROMs and recently they made their way to Android 12 and that is what we are talking about. We are talking about the latest update of Dubfest based on Android 12 for the Poco X3 Pro. I installed it yesterday. I've tried gaming on it for maybe 15 to 20 minutes. I've charged the phone, discharged it, seen what's working and what's not working and that's it. That's the complete review for you guys. But before we get into the complete details, if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because hey it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this if you think you like chatting with like-minded people who have similar devices please click on the telegram link in the description because we have more than 1000 to 1200 people over there with similar devices discussing all sorts of things so join us there and you can also follow us on social media like instagram twitter and facebook and last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort well please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is kalash let's get going All right, now let's see what we have here. We have Dubfest official ROM based on OSS vendor. And remember, this works on Vayu and Bhima both, right? It's updated on the 15th of November 2021. Now you have download mirror changelog screenshots and support. So first, let's see what we get in changelog. Okay, now device side, there are only two things. But apart from that, there are a lot of changes. So I would recommend you go to the you know download link and check the change log yourself if there is any specific change that you are looking for. Now, in the notes section, it does say build ships with G apps. SE Linux status is enforcing, so that is a good thing. That means your safety net should be taken care of. Right now, right off the bat, when you go back to the home screen, you will notice that the app icon animations on this particular ROM are just beautiful they are pretty good they work just flawlessly and i'll tell you this personal experience yesterday the moment i flashed this rom i my first expression was that oh this rom is really really smooth and then i figured that this rom is running at 60 hertz so that made me go bonkers even more so then i switched to 120 hertz and since then the experience has been rock solid butter smooth it's so smooth uh, yeah, Android 12 ROMs on, on Poco X3 Pro, Mi 11X are super smooth at 120Hz. I'll definitely tell you that. Now, let's get back to the ROM though. So, the moment you boot into the ROM, you will see that you have very, very few applications. Now, that has been a highlight of a lot of custom ROMs that you don't include bloatware, which will ensure that you don't get lag, stutter and load on the system or load on the phone's hardware and stuff like that. Although these are pretty capable devices, all the three phones that we cover, the 855, the 860 and 870, but still, you know, minimum bloat ensures that your phone runs really, really smooth. Now, to the left, of course, you have Google Feed, which again, you know, it's very, very important for me. So if you swipe from the top to bottom, while it is updating, sometimes it stutters, but most of the time, Google Feed is working absolutely fine. I've not had any major stutters or major issues. If you swipe from the top to bottom, you will see that you have your usual set of quick tiles, but you do have things like, you know, the privacy controls, you have the refresh rate toggle, you do have CABC mode, and then you have HBM as well, which is the high brightness mode. If you go to the edit option, you will see that you have things like caffeine available as well. Now, there is a screen recorder which is available in this particular ROM. As you can see over here, I just removed it by mistake. So, okay. So, the screen recorder allows you to record internal and external audio, which is a good thing. Now, this time I will not be, you know, recommend recording things because uh, I'll show you a very, very small gist of BGMI that I played later. That will also give you an idea of how good or bad the FPS was, although that was a 3DM match, but I'll, I'll share my experience. You'll see the recording there. Now, apart from screen recording, you do have, you know, HBM mode and CABC mode and all the other usual cafe and stuff, which is there in most of the custom ROMs these days. So that is available and that works fine. If you press and hold over here, you will go to home settings, which gives you access to this particular launcher. This is the derp launcher. Okay, they are not running pixel launcher for a change. Uh, it does have access to the Google app, home screen rotation, wallpaper zooming, uh, it does have some customization, although it not, doesn't have really a ton of customization, but it does have some customization and it does give you control over the AI. So now if you go to widgets, you have your usual stuff of Android 12, you know, uh, segmented widgets with different things. And if you talk about the clock, well, you do have the Android S or Android 12 clock, which, which is present and it looks really, really beautiful and works absolutely fine. So nothing to worry there, as you can see. 
the timer and stuff is there this is a quick stopwatch and stuff so those things are there you know all the android 12 goodies are there minus the game dashboard we'll talk about that in a bit right if you go to the app drawer you will see that it does boot with very very few application now one good thing here is it does come with google camera go so that does give you control over you know portrait picturing and some certain better quality of picture compared to the other custom roms which come with a very very basic camera application right now moving on let's see here you have everything covered so let's quickly go to settings over here and the first thing that i notice is if you go to settings from uh, the quick tiles on android 12 on the poco x3 pro most of the roms were struggling in the previous builds so right now that particular lag is not there and if you go to network and internet or connected devices you will have things that which are you know very very common with android 12 and i keep saying this in every video it doesn't make any sense to go ahead and cover those again and again so we are not going to do that right now the important part over here is dub space which is basically the customization menu and already in android 12 they provided that and most of the things are working some of them are blank let's quickly have a look at them so you have four subsections over here status bar qs panel there is quick settings panel lock screen and then you have system right now under status bar you have the battery settings in which you do have a ton of customization and all of them work fine i've tried each and every one of them carrier label yeah i don't use that clock and date settings clock and date position you can select left or right and that there you go it works absolutely fine then you have status bar items you have traffic indicators which is definitely working you have miscellaneous in which you have the dubfest logo and some customization here and there you can pause the video and have a look and in quick settings you have the quick settings customization which gives you access to say you know animation duration fast overshoot so just have a look at this uh, maybe turn on the flash white the oh, wow yeah these animations look good these customizations are decent so you have the lock screen shortcuts which just has two shortcuts over here the lock screen ui customization is present so that works absolutely fine and then you have customization for uh, you know the monet ui you can use a custom color and stuff that is working absolutely okay and toast tap icon charging animation those customization options are present right now we are done talking about the rom we have to talk about important aspects now how is the gaming how is the safety net drm info battery life charging we'll talk about them one by one right now the first thing that we need to talk about is the battery life so for which i have gone ahead and saved screenshots because i charged it this morning to like 70% and stuff like that so let's quickly go to gallery over here okay and over here we have a expanded screenshot so quick reminder expanded screenshot works absolutely fine so we've disconnected 2 hours back and uh, you know we've had screen on times of 2 hours and we were down to 23% so the battery life was pretty decent from a android 12 point of view is pretty decent it works fine it should get you through a day easily i did say in one of my previous videos that this is a 5000 mAh cell and it will get you through a day no matter what you flash unless it is something which is super alpha and it doesn't work the way it is supposed to right so the battery life is pretty good uh, let's talk about charging over here real quick now if you talk about charging it says charged 50% in 47 minutes so if you double that it will give you like 94 minutes that's 1 hour and 35 minutes for a 5000 mAh battery on a custom rom that's excellent now remember i was using the original 33 watt charger and that is the reason we got very very good charging speeds all right now it's time to check the important aspects of this particular rom first of all let's talk about safety net over here so run test okay now the reason it shows failed is because i have installed majisk i have not enabled majisk hide and i enabled the 90 fps using game unlocker but in a normal situation safety net passes just fine if you talk about drm info over here you do see that it is wideband l1 so your you know hd content on prime video and netflix should be just fine nothing to worry there now the important part we need to talk about the benchmark numbers but before that there is a honorable mention that i did state earlier the smoothness on this particular rom is beautiful it's just super amazing it works well there are no ui glitches that i have experienced and overall most of the functions that are present in this particular rom are working just fine the only thing is when you are recording the screen sometimes while recording the ui will stutter and jitter but in the recording itself the recording is pretty good it's like 60 fps you don't have any problems there and i did not notice any multi touch issues as well in this particular rom like ghost touch and stuff like that although i've not had ghost touch issues on my device ever and i use four finger i don't use five finger i'm not that pro 
so yeah some of you who are using five finger like for example wolf and one of my other uh, elite testers i think his name is uh, rathod or something he also said that there are multi touch issues so go ahead and check and let me know in the comment section so first thing that we'll look at is the cpu throttle test let's quickly have a look at it so there you have it cpu throttled to 91% of its max performance and the average score was 206766 gips now this was after cooling the phone down when it was on 29 or 30 degrees celsius for the battery these are pretty rock solid scores now let's go to geekbench over here all right so when we talk about the geekbench numbers 795 single core 2668 multi core now these are good numbers for a snapdragon 860 remember that and uh, let's talk about n2 to benchmark over here we have 594912 now this is one of the very few custom roms uh, based on android 12 which are giving me which is giving me a consistent good score in the cpu throttle test in antutu and in geekbench and even you know remember i said earlier that i'll show you the gaming clip let's quickly show you that real quick uh, i'll put it on the screen probably so watch that uh, it's i'll just show you like 2 minutes of the gameplay and you can determine if you know the game plays good or bad the device did get warm it didn't didn't get really really hot for the red team Target down Enemy down All right. So, you saw the gameplay there, right? I enjoyed playing on 90 FPS and it was working pretty decent. It didn't lose a ton of battery. So, in my opinion, the latest Derp Fest almost nails it in every corner these days with the Poco X3 Pro. I will not call it the best gaming ROM or the best performing ROM or the smoothest ROM, but it's covering almost all the aspects and if you don't root, you do get safety net and Widevine L1 and you can install a Gcam and you should be good to go. So, Derp Fest Android 12's latest update is doing a splendid job. They are adding features day by day let me know in the comment section what you think about this video until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone off keep smiling take care goodbye